Well, new tonight, some people living in Kinston are not happy about the conditions at Pine Lawn Memorial Cemetery. Not in your sides, Adriana Hargrove went to the cemetery today to get a firsthand look. She's joining us now in the newsroom. So, Adriana, what are people saying? Angie, one person says conditions have gotten worse and worse over the years, and now she and others want something to be done. This is just disgraceful. Kinston resident Evelyn Mozingo has several family members buried at Pine Lawn Memorial Park where she visits daily. And I have over probably 35 to 40 um, plots family plots that I put flowers on three times a year. During those visits, Mozingo noticed some of the conditions at Pine Lawn. Weeds, um, fire ants, um, their holes, the drive through there is horrible. I mean, they don't, they've got like potholes all through the whole place. Really sad to see a lawnmower being um, ridden over one of the markers, which could permanently mark, I mean, damage it. She's been taking matters in her own hands, making sure the cemetery gets the proper care it needs, sometimes even bringing weed and ant killer to clear the graves. Another person is concerned about a liquid fluid leaking out of the mausoleum near their loved one's grave. You see where it's leaking, uh, whether there was somebody in there, I have no idea. There's no name on it, so I would say it's probably empty, but the problem is the people that or above it and around it. I mean, it's definitely leaking from somewhere. Mozingo says she's had a hard time reaching out to the cemetery's owners to tell them what's going on. They said that I asked them where their corporate office was and um, they said it was in Pennsylvania. How is a local person going to get up with anybody? Because no one at that cemetery has any authority to do anything. Now I did some digging and eventually found the owners of the cemetery, which is Everstory Partners. They did give me a statement which says, the new leadership has been working hard on many projects at the location. The issues with the mausoleum is also being looked at for repair. Now you can see the full statement and information about Everstory Partners on our website at WNCT.com. In the newsroom, Adriana Hargrove, nine on your side. Adriana, thank you.